Good morning. My name is Boyce Safford III. I am Executive Director of Columbus Next Generation Corporation. Next Generation was created less than three years ago by Mayor Coleman to facilitate these types of projects in Columbus's oldest neighborhoods. Although we are demolishing this grocery store, the first African-American grocery store in Columbus that is, has historic significance in this community, we are looking, looking to build a bright future in this redevelopment effort. I want to thank the mayor and his leadership as redevelopment of the site shows the continued commitment of city leadership in redeveloping in the Near East Side. And now I get to introduce the mayor, and I want to give him a proper introduction because this may be the last time he climbs on the iron horse and knocks down a building. But I'd like to personally thank him for his vision. 16 years ago, he created the neighborhood platform, investing in our neighborhoods. He has done a tremendous job in touching all neighborhoods in the city of Columbus, bar none. His legacy will continue with future leadership to reinvest in these older neighborhoods because he truly believed that everyone that is a citizen of Columbus should benefit from the prosperous efforts of everything going on in the broader Columbus. So we want to thank Mayor Coleman for his efforts on the Near East Side. I'm making this commitment. It's been a long, hard road. I started out 6'5 doing this. Now I'm six foot. But I want to introduce the mayor. And ladies and gentlemen, the mayor for life in this city, Mayor Coleman. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Boyce, um, for that very fine introduction. And first, I want to acknowledge the best division of fire in all of America right here. Let's hear it for them. And I want to thank Boyce as well. Uh, Boyce has been part of shaping the urban agenda in Columbus. And the Next Generation Corporation, or I call it Next Gen, uh, was created and we put Boyce there as the first executive director for the purpose of focusing in on urban communities to help redevelop them. And that's the hardest work there is as mayor, to redevelop older neighborhoods in a positive way. We have a lot of partners here. I see CMHA is here, a great partner for us. So this site is an important site to the long-term vitality of this neighborhood. This used to be the first IGA grocery store, or the IGA grocery store owned by Carl Brown. You know, Carl Brown is iconic in the city of Columbus. Great man. His first job out of high school was at a local grocery store. His goal was to someday become a manager of a grocery store. And then one day a supervisor uh, said, a, called him a bad name. So he left and he said, I'm going to open up my own grocery store. And he opened up a fruit stand at first. And then he said, I'm going to open up my grocery store. And then he did. And, uh, and, and then he had a vision. And that vision was that that grocery store would become the anchor of a neighborhood where people could shop, people could enjoy, employ people. And that's what IGA was for so many years. And then as this neighborhood changed, uh, this store changed. It became vacant. It became abandoned in some ways. We worked on an arrangement. And now from this vacant building that was the anchor in this neighborhood, we're going to revitalize and rebuild a new opportunity for this neighborhood. An, an opportunity that will, be, will grow and be better and uh, advance the quality of life in this neighborhood. On my left are, is one example of what it could be, and on my right is the other example of what it could be. Each example represents commercial, retail, and residential living on this site. A key site to the redevelopment of this neighborhood, we're going to bring it back. And I want to thank Carl Brown and his family for so many years of giving back, giving forward. I appreciate them. 
but we're going to build this up into a better thing. And so, yes, this will be my last time knocking down a building. I look forward to it. But as I knock down this building, I want to uh, recognize that there's a senior citizen housing called Poindexter Place, 104 units coming up, coming along. Poindexter Village Community House with child care programs. So I thank everybody engaged. The board of Next Gen, uh, uh, Charles Hillman, CMHA, and everybody that packed who has been uh, great in all the things, our partner in the Near East Side to make things happen. This is part of the blueprint for community investment. We're going to make it work for those that live in this neighborhood. You're first. You're always first in my mind. And so as I tear this, this building down, I'll be thinking about how we're going to build this neighborhood back up again. So I <laughs> All right. Are you okay. Now we can't do anything without great members of council and someone who has stood by us, been a leader, a catalyst for urban development in this city, has been Zach Klein. Zach, come on up here. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you, Mayor Coleman. Uh, I first want to recognize my colleague and a champion for the Near East Side with me that stands. Uh, with council and that's council member Shannon Harden and then also recognize the great men and women of uh, the division of fire thank you for what you do every day CMHA uh, and then of course the 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 next gen corporation and its board members that spend time uh, thinking about these issues and how we can make a difference and their fearless leaders Boyce Safford and Tracy Taylor two community stalwarts that work hard every day to uh, make this vision into a reality I think Mayor Coleman laid out the, uh, the, the historical context of how important this site is to our community and to this community. Uh, and with every demolition, there is nostalgic thinking about what was and perhaps a tear of, of, of feeling the pain of what, what was at this site and how important it was for the economic development and economic engine in this neighborhood. But with the wrecking ball and with the opportunity for this uh, building to come down comes the hope and opportunity of what's next. And when you see what's going on with PAC and the senior living and the continued development of housing in this neighborhood, every time I come over here, every week, there's something different. There's more excitement going on in the packed area. And I am convinced that this project, whether it's this vision or this vision or a combination of both, is gonna be the anchor for this community. What Carl Brown stood for in this grocery store is gonna be revitalized and be the cornerstone for the rebirth of the Near East Side. So thank you so much. Pastor Johnson. Pastor Johnson from Union Grove Baptist Church, right over here. Pastor? To Mr. Mayor and to his staff and to all of those a part of Next Generation, Columbus Metropolitan Housing, to all of you, good morning. Joshua chapter 4 talks about Joshua and they, their plans to go to the promised land. They crossed the Jordan River and when they crossed the Jordan River, God says, stop. Take 12 representatives, take 12 stones, place them in the Jordan River to remind the young people what just took place. There are stones all around here in Point Dexter Village. And we who are a part of this generation must remind the next generation about, about what has happened and what will happen and how this transition will make a glorious place for our society. I mentioned before that we look at the past, we analyze the past, but we don't live in the past. We move forward. And this is a step forward with the help of all of the people that are here. We're moving to another dimension in this community. And I thank God for it. God bless you all. All right, thank you, thank you.
Thank you, Pastor. So the time has arrived. Uh, I think the media, if you get on the other side, you'll see me make a total fool of myself. <laughs>